मित्रांनो परीक्षेमध्ये जास्तीत जास्त गुण मिळवण्यासाठी सततचा सराव खूपच महत्वाचा असतो आम्ही बनविलेले व्हिडिओज जर आपण पुन्हा पुन्हा पाहिले व शेवटपर्यंत पाहिले तर नक्कीच त्याचा खूप फायदा होईल आपण टॉप स्कोरर बनाल कारण प्रॅक्टिस मेक्स मॅन परफेक्ट मित्रांनो आम्ही आपल्यासाठी चांगल्यात चांगले व्हिडिओज बनवत आहोत जर तुम्ही आमचा चॅनल सबस्क्राईब कराल आमचे व्हिडिओज इतरांना शेअर कराल व्हिडिओज वर लाईक व कमेंट कराल तर आम्ही तुमच्यासाठी जास्तीत जास्त व्हिडिओज घेऊन येऊ आमचा माय बेस्ट गुरु चॅनल सबस्क्राईब बटन वर क्लिक करून सबस्क्राईब करा हॅलो फ्रेंड्स इट्स चॅप्टर नंबर सेव्हन्टीन इफेक्ट्स ऑफ लाईट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फिल इन द ब्लँक्स ए वेन द बीम्स फ्रॉम द हेड लाईट्स ऑफ अ कार फॉल ऑन अन ऑब्जेक्ट इन द नाईट द शॅडो इज कॉल्ड डॅश 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 अँड डॅश 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 उमरा पेनुम्रा ए वेन द बीम्स from the headlights of a car fall on an object in the night the shadow is called umbra and penumbra b during the lunar eclipse the shadow of the dash 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 falls on the dash 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 earth moon b during the lunar eclipse the shadow of the earth falls on the moon c during the solar eclipse the shadow of the dash 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 falls on the dash 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 moon earth c during the solar eclipse the shadow of the moon falls on the earth D various shades of color are seen in the sky at sunrise and sunset due to dash 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 scattering of the light D various shades of color are seen in the sky at sunrise and sunset due to scattering of the light Question number 2 give reasons A space beyond the earth's atmosphere appears dark Answer Beyond earth's atmosphere there is no any medium for scattering of light only vacuum is there therefore space beyond the earth atmosphere appears dark B we are able to read while sitting in the shade Answer Due to objects in between the sunlight cast a shadow this shadow is not an umbra but it is a penumbra therefore amount of light is enough for reading in a shade C we should not observe the solar eclipse with naked eye Answer We should not observe the solar eclipse with naked eye because sun releases ultraviolet rays on the earth when these rays reach to the earth these are harmful for our eyes these rays directly enter in our eyes and may damage our I vision Question number 3 give some examples of scattering of light that we come across in our day to day life Answer 
the beam of the touch lamps headlight of vehicles street light sunlight rays etc are the examples of scattering of light question number 4 why is the shadow of the bird flying not seen on the earth answer the sun is bigger than the earth it is an extended source of light when the bird flies at low height umbra and penumbra are formed but when the bird flies very high its umbra almost disappears and penumbra becomes faint and vanishes therefore the shadow of the flying bird is not seen on the earth Question number 5 why is a penumbra not obtained from the point source answer scattering of light emerging from a point source does not take place therefore the shadow of the object placed in front of the point source obtained the umbra and penumbra are the part of distinct parts of a shadow which is created by the light of source the penumbra is not a perfect shadow it is that region around the umbra where the shadow is only partial or imperfect in the figure the light source is larger than a single point this form due to a light from the source gets blocked by the shadowing object not all of it does Question number 6 answer the following questions in your own words A what is meant by scattering of light answer 1 the particles or molecules present in the atmosphere scatter light this phenomenon is known as scattering of light 2 the sky looks blue due to this effect of scattering light 3 in the forest we can experience the scattering of light due to trees and particles present in the air b does the shadow really vanish in the zero shadow condition answer at noon time on the zero shadow day the sun reaches over our accurately at that time shadow of our body is straight it does not scatter it is formed at below at our feet shadow is formed but not seen and hence it is disappeared c will the laser beam be seen if it passes through a glass box which contain lighted incense stick answer lighted incense stick throws small particles when beam of laser passes through the glass box it passes but its light scatters Question number 7 discuss and write A write a science based paragraph on what if the sun did not rise Answer There are many things which will happen if there will not be sun some of them are 1 plants produce the food using sunlight if the sun will not rise plants will not be able to produce food 2 there will not be day therefore the earth's temperature will decrease 3 all other sources of energy will end 
Therefore, all living things will die due to lack of food. Therefore, no clouds, no rain, no crops, no forests and no greenery of any kind. B. What efforts will you make to remove misconceptions about eclipse? Answer. There are many misconceptions about the eclipse like 1. It is said the Rahu swallows the sun during the eclipse. 2. Some people with particular zodiac should not watch the eclipse. 3. Pregnant lady should not watch an eclipse because it can harm her baby. 4. I will show them the results of research. Anyone ever provided the practical evidence that there is no truth and these are just misconceptions. I can convince the people using the advanced inventions of science. C. Various eclipses and conditions during that period. Answer. When the sun, the moon and the earth are in the straight line, then it is said to be eclipse took place. There are two types of eclipse, solar eclipse and lunar eclipse. When the moon comes between the sun and the earth, a shadow of the moon is cast on the earth and the sun cannot be seen from the part in the shadow. This is called solar eclipse. When the earth comes between the sun and the moon, the shadow of the earth is cast on the moon and is covered with shadow. This is called lunar eclipse. Conditions during solar eclipse are it should not be watched naked eyes because of its ultraviolet rays may harm your eyes. Question number 8. Explain the difference between a point sources and extended source of light. Number point source of light extended source of light one point source of light is very small in size these sources of light are bigger in size two umbra is obtained from these sources of light umbra and penumbra both can be obtained from these sources of light three for example, light passing from the tiny hole. For example, street lights, the sun. B. Umbra and Penumbra Number Umbra, Penumbra 1. It is a dark. It is faint. 2. It is obtained from the point of source as well as extended source of light. Penumbra is obtained from extended source of light only. मित्रांनो आम्ही आपल्यासाठी चांगल्यात चांगले व्हिडिओज बनवत आहोत जर तुम्ही आमचा चॅनल सबस्क्राइब कराल आमचे व्हिडिओज इतरांना शेअर कराल व्हिडिओज वर लाईक व कमेंट कराल तर आम्ही तुमच्या साठी जास्ती जास्त वीडियोस घेऊन येऊ आमचा माय बेस्ट गुरु चॅनल सबस्क्राइब बटन वर क्लिक करून सबस्क्राइब करा